you're going to be using a lot of plates in the laboratory. For instance, these nutrient agar plates for streaking your bacterial strains. So let's pour 16 nutrient agar plates. We'll be using a bottle of media with agar in it to make it solid, like this. Here's a bottle of the same media with no agar in it. As you can see, it's liquid. We need to melt the agar in the microwave. First, loosen the lid to stop your bottle from exploding. This is very important. Leave the lid on loosely. We can now place the bottle in the microwave. The glass tray catches any spills. We set the microwave for 14 minutes at 30% of full power. Do not use a higher power or the agar might boil over. After 14 minutes, the agar should be done. Wearing protective gloves, carefully take the agar out of the microwave. Take great care as the agar might boil over, suddenly releasing steam. Tighten the lid and check carefully that there are no remaining solid lumps of agar. Try not to mix too vigorously as you may introduce air bubbles. After washing any excess agar from the outside of the bottle, we place it in a 55 degree water bath to cool down. We'll leave it here for about 20 minutes. With a 400 milliliter bottle of nutrient agar, we can make about 16 plates. Plastic Petri dishes come sterile in a plastic bag. We'll get 16 of them out of the bag. And label them with the type of media we're going to use, Na for nutrient agar. Label all 16 on the bottom of the plates at the side. We'll pour our plates in this laminar flow hood. Sterile air flows through this hood, preventing any microbes from falling on our plates. Before use, we ensure that the hood is sterile by wiping down with 70% ethanol. We can now place our labeled Petri dishes and our molten agar in the flow hood, ready to pour our plates. Remove the lid from the bottle and begin pouring your plates. I like to pour my plates in piles of four. Remove the lid from each plate and carefully pour agar into the bottom. You want the agar to cover the base of the plate and come up to a depth of about half a centimeter. Keep pouring your plates until you have used up the entire bottle of media. After pouring each batch of plates, leave the lids ajar to allow excess moisture to dry from the plates. To save space, arrange your plates in a pyramid while they dry. As the agar solidifies, it goes from clear to cloudy. After about 20 minutes, the agar is now solid. We can put a lid on and turn it upside down and it will remain in the plate. We can put our plates in a plastic bag and put them in the cold room. Here they can be stored at 3 to 4 degrees centigrade for up to one or two weeks. We now have 16 freshly poured nutrient agar plates that can be used at a later date. To find out if I ever escape from the cold room you can watch the day one lab video.